Looks like we're going to have our work cut out. It says the town's overrun with pests. And they're eating everything in sight. Anti-pesto, humane pest control. How can I help? It's Lady Tottington. She says that the hall has a major infestation. Don't worry, my lady. We'll be over in two shakes of a rabbit's tail. Oh, looks like the fortune teller's had some misfortune. We'd better lend her a hand. Shame you didn't see that pothole coming, Madam Winnebago. But we'll get you to the vegetable show in time. Come on, Gromit, shift a paw. Much obliged, Mr. Wallace, I'm sure. And as one good turn deserves another, let me see what the future holds for you and your canine companion. I see rabbits, lots of them. And by the light of the moon, I see one particularly large and ravenous rabbit. So watch your step in the battle with the pests, lest you unleash powers you can't control. Oh, and one more thing. Beware crossing the path of a tall, dark stranger. Can I help you? Actually, we're here to help you. We're anti-pesto. Anti-pesto? Yes, I've heard of you. Humane pest control. Namby-pamby nonsense. Only one way to deal with pests, and that's shoot them. Shoot them when it hurts. Victor, that's quite enough about shooting. You know my views on that. Of course, of course. Goodness, how well you look today. You're positively glowing with wealth. I mean, dripping with health. I'd be feeling a great deal better if we had our pest problem under control. They seem to be everywhere. Now you must be Wallace. You're just the man I've been looking for. And you, Lady Tottington, are just the sort of client whose cauliflowers and carrots Antipesto is dedicated to defending. Humane pest control. Stuff and nonsense. Antipesto will never rid Lady T of her rabbits or her riches. I'll make sure of that. Crikey, even armed with our bun gun, Gromit's gonna need extra training to deal with this little lot. Preposterous pest controllers! Antipesto are our last hope. Only they can save the giant vegetable competition, says Lady Tottington. Ha! We'll see about that. Time to pay Antipesto a visit, Philip. It would be a tragedy if all the bunny wunnies were accidentally to escape. Ha! That fluffy-headed filly will soon change her tune. And yours truly, madly deceitfully, will come to the rescue with Old Faithful. <laughs> Why didn't we think of it before, lad? The solution to all our storage problems, simply by connecting the bun vac to the mind manipulation o magic, we can brainwash the bunnies. Hey, presto! Rabbit rehabilitation. Once cured of their antisocial veg ravaging behavior, the rabbits can be safely released without fear of reoffending. Problem solved. Just a little added lunar power to enhance the mind waves. And we can begin. Veg bad. Veg bad. Veg bad. Say no to carrots, cabbage, and cauliflower. Well, come on, lad. What are you waiting for? Turn on the bun vac. Full suction.
minute brainwashing should suffice, and then we can move on to the conditioning. Thanks, lad. Well, I, uh, I think I'll turn in. That experiment's left me brain waves feeling distinctly choppy. No snoozy chock for me tonight. Mm -hmm. a, a carrot juice would be just fine. By heck, I had some dreams last night. Oh, where's our rabbits? And who's taken me mind omatic fowls? Connect up the bunvac. We'd better get to work, lad, or Auntie Pesto's name's gonna be mud. Welcome, Wallace. Greetings, Grummet. My crystal ball told me you'd be along eventually. It did? Oh, yes. It tells me everything. It even tells me you're a dab hand with a screwdriver and can fix my van. Excellent work! And for all your endeavours in the battle with the pests, I shall give you another reward. I shall teach you to turn day into night. Simply use the sundial at your feet. And the sun and moon will be yours to command. Our little bun gun's going to be no match for a were-rabbit. To catch a giant beast, we need a giant trap. And I've just the thing. No red-blooded were-rabbit will be able to resist the charms of our grommet. Good Lord! <laughs> Boy, Gromit! Ha <laughs> ha! How could we possibly fail now? You're a total knockout! Stick around, lad! Should fix back on quite easily.
cup of tea, Chuck. With certain modifications, Wallace's mind o might not be entirely useless after all. Is our dastardly device ready yet? <laughs> Excellent! Then let foul play begin! devices will create creatures of the night so terrible they'll make the daytime pests look like like creatures of the day Gromit Hutch I've been expecting you I must tell you that a new menace is abroad nighttime weir pests creepy creatures that wander the town when the sun sleeps and the moon is high but fear not. With my help, you can defeat these nocturnal nasties and restore Wallace to health. So, tell me, how is the quest to catch the whale rabbit? Has anti-pesto delivered, or are your veg still in mortal danger? I fear they are, Victor. The beast is still at large. Very large, according to the vicar. Oh, I am sorry. With the contest starting so soon, perhaps it's time to try traditional methods. Oh, Victor. Yes, I'm afraid. I think it is. Excellent. Now don't worry about the wear rabbit. Thanks to my extraordinary tracking skills, I know just where to find him. I mean, it. It's not natural, that cucumber. Bless my soul, it isn't. And that onion's making me cry from here. the way you look. Winner coming through. Oh, uh, Mrs. Mulch, you're bending my bindi. Oh, never seen one so big and juicy. Mike Puffs. That's been pumped. Mind now, no shoving. You'll all get a chance to see the vegetables if you wait your turn. Stand back, everyone. It's here and it's hungry. I don't think you'll find him in the Chippendale. <laughs> it's the beast! Oh, it's back! Dash it! I need more golden bullets! Give me that! No, Victor, what are you doing? Give it to me! You don't need I rather think I do! Well, the golden carrot belongs in the show! The golden carrot belongs in the whale rabbit! What? Oh, put me down! After it! Oh. It's getting away! I'm going up there after them! Make sure I'm not followed.
don't understand. You don't need to understand, Campanula. Get your hairy mitts off my future wife, you big brute. No, Victor, you mustn't shoot. It's an extremely dangerous animal, my love. No, Victor, you don't understand. No, the hunt is off. We made a terrible mistake. Oh, no. You commissioned me to rid you of pesto, and that's just what I intend to do. Oop. Pesto? A uh, pest! I'm in pest! You're worse than a hunter! You're a murderer! All right! So what if it is that blithering idiot? No one will ever believe you! And a hunter always gets his prey! Say your prayers, big ears! the final blow! Never mind! Oof. Take that instead, Baldy! Uh. What the? It's the beast! After it! No! No! Philip! Philip! Uh. Ah! Here, heavy roll! You can't beat cheese on toast for tea, eh, lad? And it's good to have me appetite back. Not to mention all me extremities restored to regulation size. Thank goodness Hutch could fix me mind o -matic. And he's much better off back with his bunny chums. So what we'll do with them all, I haven't the fuckiest idea. Perhaps we could have a grand day out and release them into the next county. What do you reckon, lad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh! Lady Tottington, hello. What a pleasant surprise. Um, will you stay for some cheese? Oh, uh, no, thank you. Um, I'm a, a vegan. Oh. I've decided to present the Golden Carrot Award to your little dog for his brave and splendid marrow. Congratulations, um, lad. <laughs> Well done, Gromit. When it comes to veg, you certainly know your onions. And your giant marrows, of course. Evening, all. Hello, PC Mac. I've come to present Auntie Pesto with the West Wallaby Bravery Award. Awarded in recognition of dedication above and beyond the call of duty in the field of humane pest control. Basically, we're dead chuffed with what you've done for the town. Dead chuffed. Much obliged, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Will you stay for some cheese? Oh, all right, just this once. Is it Wensleydale by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> 